Hey everybody, I'm Renocio and I am a sellout. I did the Twitter challenge for the Sailor, no, the Sailor Moon challenge. I don't know what they're calling this thing. Anyway, I drew a screenshot, redrew a screenshot. Man, this is a mess. Hang on. <clears throat> Take two. Basically, there is a challenge going around on Twitter, I think, where people are redrawing this Sailor Moon screenshot for whatever reason. I don't generally do these things, but I thought, eh, it'd be kind of fun. So this was an interesting challenge for a couple of reasons. To begin with, it's a difficult angle. The fact that Sailor Moon has her head sort of coming forward anteriorly and then her shoulders are rolled in a whole bunch. She's sort of like slouched and looking up and looking to the side. It's a very difficult position, especially when you're doing a close-up headshot. I don't normally draw just headshots. And if I do, they're always at like the same scale. So this was a challenge on all fronts. Does anybody actually know what expression Sailor Moon is supposed to be making in this original one? Like, is she just listening to someone talk? Is she interested, surprised, scared? I don't really know what the vibe's supposed to be. So I decided I was gonna make it more dynamic, just, you know, for shiggles. Which is like shits and giggles. Does anybody say that anymore? Am I dating myself? I'm definitely dating myself. So I do think that partially because I was trying to do this quickly and also because of these weird positional things, there are some bits in the final product that I found were weird about my drawing. Um, Sailor Moon definitely ended up looking very Caucasian. She ended up with a very long face and looked kind of older than I had intended to have her look. Also line art. I don't normally do line art. Most of my drawings, if they're fully rendered, quote, 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 they're basically a whole bunch of color slapped on a digital sketch. So the fact that I was doing line art is a little bit out of my normal wheelhouse, but I figured because so many other artists were doing fully rendered versions of this drawing, I didn't want to stand out too much and doing it completely differently and looking like I'd half arse the entire thing. Instead of using black, I used more of a reddish brown for the line art, mostly because when I finish a drawing, I tend to put a lot of filters on it. I love me some luminosity layers, and those tend to look really awkward on a black line art. The black is just too stark against a colorful background or a lot of like highlights on top. Doing her wispy hair was a lot of fun. I don't normally do a lot of this like big flowing majestic sort of thing, so I, but I saw like the way her hair was curled in the original drawing and I was like, ooh, I wanna try. I think it always looks a little bit awkward on my drawings because I tend to do characters more stocky, I guess, especially when I draw women, I don't usually do that like fine, fair, thinned bone sort of proportions. So maybe the wispy hair just doesn't look as desu on the kind of bodies that I draw. This necklace gave me so much dang trouble. If you look at the original drawing, it's very flat. It's very 2D. There's no raised dimension on the heart. It kind of just looks like it's been drawn on her neck. Like I know she's a 2D image, but it looks like if she were a person, it would just be a tattoo on her neck and not a necklace. So because of that, I couldn't really use the original picture as reference. So my drawing of the necklace took a lot of tries and I'm still not entirely happy with it. It's a weird angle to try to be drawing chokers on. While I do intend to do some shading with this one, I also decided to block in some shading with the line art. I think that just makes the line art feel more dynamic and more round and full. I decided the background needed a little bit more going on, which is foolish because then when I put the shading on, it kind of disappears, but I wanted to add some signs of battle. So some broken floorboards and more obvious tiles. I think they were kind of implied in the original version, but it was otherwise just a sheet of blue. So we're gonna make it more interesting. And here's something you should do if you have a digital canvas, like all the time, flip it. See what's going on on the other side. Cause when I flipped this image, I realized, oh, there's a reason her face was looking so weird. That one eye is way too far down her face. Also, once I had the bangs drawn out fully, I went back and erased the eyebrows that were visible through the hair because this is not Inuyasha. That's not a stylistic choice I dig.
As far as coloring goes, I mostly use the magic wand tool to get the big areas of the line art that I wanted to fill with the color and they're just bucket filled by color picking from the original image. Obviously some of that I changed, her hair is much paler in the original and I was like, nah, we're going for saturated colors, we're going for the big gold here. But yeah, mostly I just bucket filled the thing and then went back with a brush to fill in the spots that I missed. And then I preserved Optisy on the layer so that any shading that I did over top of that wouldn't go outside of the lines. Very helpful trick when you're doing digital art. Def would recommend. And when it comes to shading and highlighting, if you're choosing from like, I'm doing green, so I'm gonna do a lighter green and a darker green for shade and lighting, the image is going to look really, really flat. So what I'll do if I'm, say, using a red, all my highlights will be in an orange and all of my low lights or my shades will be in a purpley sort of tone. That way things look more dimensional, more interesting. If there's a trick to doing this, I don't know it. I just pick colors at random because I think they look good. This is what I get for being a self-taught artist. Oopsie. Also, I know a lot of programs have like a blender brush. There is one on Paint Tool Sci in this version that I'm using, but I find it looks hmm, kind of awkward. It's got that like, I just learned to do digital art kind of feel to it, like smudgy smudgy, just it, something's weird about it. So I actually use the watercolor brush of the neutral tone of whatever it is that I'm coloring. And I use that to soften the lines in between the shadings and the, the lighting. And then my favorite part of any drawing and the reason I like Paint Tool Size so much is the Lumion shade layers. So shade I generally use as more of an atmospheric thing, not so much a specific like shading of a body or anything like that. So I'll take the shading color and honestly it's completely random for whatever vibe I'm doing. I end up playing with the hue and saturation of these things a lot anyway, so I don't know how to pick a set color and go with it. It's all, it's all by eye. Anyway, I'm getting tangential. Basically, the shading I use around the character to kind of give it an atmosphere, and then the lighting I tend to use directly on the character as a really vivid highlight, especially in this case where I'm trying to go for a very dramatic lighting. And then again, I'll just play around with the colors of these things and different layers and different optices until I think it looks good. So the final product is very different from the original one. I definitely went with a more um, scared, threatened looking vibe than the original very stoic expression that Sailor Moon had going on, but I felt it fit with the vibrant colors more and the dramatic shading that I tend to do. Also, it was fun to invoke some kind of emotion into that scene when there didn't seem to be any. I'm, I'm not actually sure why this is the screen cap that everyone's drawing, maybe because it's such a blank slate. Anyway, if you liked it, please let me know in one way or another, comment, like, whatever you feel like doing. And if you'd like to stick around and see more of these sorts of things, then please hit the subscribe button so we can hang out some more. Thanks, everybody. Bye.